Hi, I'm Jason Philbrook at Navrock Marine Electronics. Let me show you how to add some workspaces to Time Zero Professional today. Uh, one of the useful workspaces would be a split screen navigation on one side and a 3D cube on the other so you can see what the bottom is like. Um, along the top, uh, there's a you can select the different workspaces up here. Uh, this is sort of like on a um, for an OTZ touch, you can select different views along the top. So we're, so we're going to click on the plus up top to add a workspace and then just follow my mouse along and I'll, I'll talk while I do the work and show you how to set it up. We click on the plus up here. That will allow us to make a new workspace. We're going to have a split screen. On the left hand side we're going to have the navigation. On the right hand side we're going to have this pan of dessert that's already been cut up. Looks like a pan of brownies. Alright, we're going to change the name from custom to something else. Nav and cube. Hit validate. So this has created a split screen now. The buttons on the left over here go with whichever side of the screen is lit up gold. As you can see, the left hand side is lit gold here. The right hand side, now we can light that gold. One of the things we can do is click on the chain link down here, and these will zoom together. Now when we zoom in on the navigation, The colors over here in the 3D cube are based on what we have in fishing. Manual, discrete, automatic. If we want to change how these are configured, we can go to the fishing mode and change things over here. Over our presets for the colors, like if we want to change the color palette or depth range, we'll do that in fishing. Then we can go back to nav and cube. Uh, we may want to change the display of the chart. We do not have to have this aerial view on there. If you want to simplify it, you can take that off. And again, these are separately controlled, so we have to click over here and then turn off the satellite view for that one, for example. And we can change the chart type from a raster chart to a vector chart. When we, move, when we hold the mouse button down and move the le mouse left or right, it will spin around the 3D cube. If we move the mouse up and down, it will change the altitude in the 3D cube. One of the interesting, interesting things to note in the 3D cube is that marks and tracks appear on the bottom of the ocean. Uh, sort of like if you set a trap or trawl or fishing gear would be on the bottom of the ocean, so that's where the marks and tracks show. Uh, we've also got a shadow of the boat on the bottom and a pin under the boat to show where the boat is positioned above the bottom. So now on one side we've got the navigation information which is useful. We, we can see our AIS targets, our navigation buoys, chart data. And on the other side we've got the 3D view which helps us understand the bottom for purposes of fishing. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be doing a bunch more Time Zero Professional videos, uh, so subscribe and uh, keep an eye out for new content. Thanks.